guys, welcome back to another episode. That looks so good. <laughs> 500 horse. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna to be doing something slightly different. Obviously the Kia Sting is in at Custom Coding, getting the wide body installed. I've had a lot of you message me online asking what my daily driver is. So today in this episode, I thought I would show you what my daily driver is and also do a bit of a detailing video about it. It's been sitting around for about six months. I've owned it for nine months, but I haven't wanted to clean it since. I want to test the Balance product and see how long it will last without me giving it a wash. So it literally has not had a wash for six months. So today's going to be a really good test to see how the Bowden's products hold up. But let's get into showing you my 2020 Ford Transit Custom Sport. I've done a lot of work to this van. So I've got installed a custom rear leaf spring for the van. So the rear ride height matches the front. I also got the front grille recently changed to be like the Ford Raptor grille. They have this on the Transit Sport Customs over in the UK. So this is the first one in Australasia with this grille. I put some 20 inch BGW rims with low profile tires on the van, very similar design to Rotiforms. I've had all of the lights painted from custom coatings in like a smoke tint. With the interior I got my logo custom stitched onto the headrests. The van's been fully wrapped by the wrap shop in Auckland with my company branding on it. So as you can see it's super super dirty so today is going to be an absolutely fantastic day to really test out these Bowden products. I'm going to start off with a tool that most people haven't seen. It's made by Karcher and it's a chassis cleaner. So this thing connects to the Karcher K4 water blaster of mine and converts the water pressure from the normal water blaster and feeds it to this fan with spinning blades and cleans all of the rocks and dirts underneath your car that you won't be able to reach otherwise. The only reason I'm doing this is because I haven't cleaned the vehicle in six months. I've gone off road, there'll be crap and dirt all underneath there. So for me, I want to look after my car. I'm going to keep this car for a long time. So I want to make sure that it is all in mint condition and it's not going to affect any of the drivability of the daily use of my car. Sweet, it's all done. We've cleaned underneath the chassis. It's now time to get onto the wheels. Today we're going to use Nano Wash because we're not in the sun. It's a super hydrophobic shampoo. It dries really, really quick though. So we're not in the sun. We should have no issues with the wheels. Now the one tip I have is you always do wheels first. The reason being, if you've cleaned your car, and you've cleaned all your panels, you go to touch your dirty wheels, you're gonna get over sprayed 100%. So always start off by doing your wheels. So this is Bowden's own wheelie clean. This is like an iron remover. So all of your brake dust and everything that you get on your wheels, this is the thing that turns purple and starts eating away at it. So be quite generous. I mean, I'm gonna definitely be generous today. These wheels haven't been cleaned in six months. So as you can see, you're already starting to see it turn purple. You just know that's when it's reacting already to the iron particles. I then go around the tyres with orange agent. This is just like an all-purpose cleaner. Give them a nice big scrub because there's all this embedded dirt that you can't really see. This is the stuff that gets it off. I then grab my scrubbing brush and start off with the tyres. Give them a really good scrub. Make sure you get off as much dirt as you can. good rinse and start scrubbing the faces of all the wheels. Because I have such detailed wheels, I'm going to switch to my little brush so I can get into all the little nooks and crannies, making sure I'm cleaning every little possible area. This is my new favourite brush, this is the Bowden's own flathead. This gets in and cleans your bowls and goes in between your spokes, making sure that not just your face, but your bowls and everything are nice and clean. This is a fantastic little brush super skinny, tapers inwards, and for me, I can get in every single spoke, which most other brushes on the market, I couldn't do this. Now with Bowden's own orange agent, all purpose cleaner, I now go around inside guards basically and give them a full coating with this before I water blast it off. It just helps get as much dirt and grime off before you have to start getting in there and scrub. Six months ago I sprayed on Wet Dreams, uh, which is a super hydrophobic sealant. We're going to top it back up again and you can see the before and afters on how flat it was to now how hydrophobic it is. All it takes is 10 or so sprays, leave it on for about 10 seconds and then spray it off. It's that easy. 
I'm just giving them a nice barrel to make sure that they're protected as well. But that is all you really need to do. And then grab the water blaster and spray it. So now that the wheels are done and they're nice and clean and all the dirt sprayed over the body of the car, the best thing to do is a snow foam. What I'm going to be using is Bowden's own snow job. So the ratio is about 900ml of water to 100ml of product, so it's actually really good value for money. What you then do is you connect it to your water blaster, you spray it over the car and you let it sit there for about 5 minutes. What this does is it pulls away any loose rocks and dirt, especially that's now sprayed up from the wheels on the body panel, you let it sit there and it slowly pulls it away before you then get your microfiber wash and then you start scrubbing the panels and you're actually doing your shampoo wash. So this is a really key step when it comes to detailing your car, you want to make sure that you're not going to get any swirls and scratches in your paint, so I always recommend doing a snow foam before you ever touch the body panel with any microfiber wash at all. So you always want to start at the lower part of the vehicle, this is the most dirtiest part of the car, so you always start there to give it as much dwell time as possible. It's been about five minutes now, so as you can see the snow foam's done its job, it's pulled as much dirt and rocks off as possible, so now we grab the water blaster and just water blast it all off nice and gently. So I've just finished water blasting all the snow foam off and I've realised it's too late at night to keep going, I can hardly see anymore, the moon's out, so we'll put a pause on it for tonight, I'll give her a quick dry down and we'll catch you guys in the morning. Welcome back, so it's day two and we've left the vehicle overnight, so the next step we're going to be doing is the two bucket method wash. The reason you use two buckets with two grit guards in the bottom of them is to minimise swirls and scratches. The process is pretty simple, you go from your rinse bucket with your microfiber wash, you get in there, you rub it along the bottom, you get as much dirt and rock as, rocks as possible out, and then you put it into your nice clean wash bucket, which also has a grit guard, and then you apply it to the vehicle. You do that process so you're trying to get rid of all of those little micro rocks and everything, so you're not scratching your paint. Now today, because we're going to be working in the sun, I'm going to be using Auto Body Gel. Auto Body Gel is a shampoo that does not streak and dry out in the sun, unlike Nanolicious, which is a super hydrophobic shampoo that does dry out in the sun. This is a fantastic product that I always use when I'm doing my weekly cleans and if I'm working out in the sun, for the main reason being, it doesn't dry out. These products were made in Australia and designed for New Zealand and Australian conditions. These are the only products on the market that I've found that actually don't streak when you're cleaning in the sun. This is my Bowden's trolley. I've got everything I need here, I've got my rags, I've got my microfiber cloths, I've got all of my other products along here, everything gets hung up on either side, tyre sheen applicators, all of my bottles, and today we're going to be using my favourite, the big blue wash pillow. Because this is a big vehicle I'm going to grab my little ladder and uh, make sure I get up nice and high. What you always want to do is you want to start from the top and work your way down so it gives the suds as much cleaning power as possible because you're leaving them on there for longer. So I'm currently about halfway through washing down the vehicle with the two bucket method. I've just got to the front of the vehicle and the grill. I'm just going to show you a little bit of a trick and tip that I have. So what I do for some finer details is I grab a little brush like this, put in the rinse bucket obviously again, go to the suds bucket. Any of your little intricate areas, just give them a wipe. Super, super simple, but it grabs out all of the little rocks and dirt that you can't really see, but that's doing damage to your vehicle. Another area that most people tend to miss is the fuel cap area. I just get in with the same little brush, give it a nice little scrub, and she looks brand new. So as soon as you finish doing the two bucket hand wash method, just grab the water blaster and water blast everything away. The next step is Bowden's own happy ending. This is a super hydrophobic sacrificial sealant that lasts roughly around six months. It's super easy to apply. All you have to do is connect it to your water blaster, spray it on, wait 10 seconds, then water blast it off. It's got super simple instructions on the back, so make sure you follow those to minimize streaking. The ratio is 900ml of water to 100ml of product, so it's another great value for money product by Bowden's own. 
If you're doing this in the sun, make sure you do this panel by panel to minimize streaking and make sure that the panels are nice and cold. Another real perk of Happy Ending is its gloss factor. It makes everything super, super glossy, as well as being a really super hydrophobic sealant. I mean, just look at the results. You can see how glossy everything is. Look at that. Water reflection. What a reflection, as well as the water not wanting to stick to it at all. So now that you've got a super hydrophobic layer on your car, the next step would obviously be drying. I get asked a lot, what is the best way to dry your vehicle? My cheeky response is with water. This is a process that we call sheeting. It's where you flood the panels, like so, with lots of water, and if you follow it in, the panels behind is completely dry to the touch. You can only do this if you've got a super hydrophobic sealant over top of it. So this really helps with the drying process, which is next to come along. If you go around and flood the panels, there's less water on there to dry. It also minimizes water spotting and is a really cool trick to show your mates. So once you've water blasted all the happy ending off and you've got that super hydrophobic sealant working, the next step to do is to dry it all down, dry the whole vehicle down. So I use the Ego 56 volt uh, handheld leaf blower. Uh, I go around all of the little nooks and crannies that you can't get with your microfiber cloth. I use that to kind of blow out all of the water that you can't get. I then go around with a microfiber cloth and use Bowden's own Afterglow. I spray about five or six sprays into a microfiber cloth, wetting all the panels, drying panel by panel, and then I get a second microfiber cloth and dry the whole vehicle down. So once you've dried down the whole car using Afterglow, it should feel absolutely silky smooth, which it definitely does. Next step, glass. So Bowden Zone have released this new mitt called the Intimate. On one side, you've got a real high pile side for adding in two sprays of naked glass, and then you go around with the low pile side and buff it off. It's that simple, and it actually works really, really well. simple north south east west motion just making sure you're overlapping each each stroke it'll give you the best finish on glass once you've sprayed it all on rotate the glove to the pink side and just wipe it off and that's how you get a non-streak glass super shiny finish So once you've finished drying and polishing your windows, the next step is to apply Tire Sheen. Tire Sheen is a Bowden's own product. It's a low sheen tire spray that lasts roughly about a week. This is the final step on making your car really, really pop. Everybody looks at your wheels, so you wanna make sure that you've got really nice, clean, glossy tires as well. Well, that's it. I've given you guys a bit of a tour of my daily work van, and I've also shown you how I keep it clean and detail it on a regular basis. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please comment below. And as always, don't forget to comment and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.